G'day, Diesel from Getting Around Isles, Camper Trailer Traveling. Thanks for joining us for another episode. So in this one today, I'm gonna to give you a walk around of our camper trailer. Basically, we've done a video similar to this before, where, where it was about what we stack, where we store things for a big lap. This one is more about where do we store things and what do we take away for a, a weekend. Now on this one here, I've got Zach on the camera to help me out. Uh, firstly, just wanna thank those who've subscribed to our channel and watch our videos. And, uh, and drop comments in every week. I really enjoy the environment. I want to say thank you, but if you're not uh, currently on our channel and you, you see this video and you like it, drop, drop something in the comments, let us know what you're thinking. Uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button and, and join us. But anyway, enough crap around for me. Let's get into it. So we'll start at the front of the camper here. So in this area here, if you just want to point the camera down here, Zach. So you see this side here, this is a jerry can spot here. And obviously we've got another one here on this side here. Now these two spots we just use for kids' toys, uh, scooters and those types of things. We only use the jerry cans for, for longer trips, nothing like this. Now pop that. Now in here, so this is where we have the gas bottles. So this is the one we're using here. I always have a spare one. So this is a this one's a brand spanker just in case I run out of gas. If there's one thing you don't want to do while you're camping is run out of gas halfway through a feed or halfway through the first bloody day, it'd be a nightmare. Alright, so in this side here we have the fridge. Now when we run longer trips, we do run two fridges, one on each side, but for weekenders we only run this one fridge. Obviously you've got the chopping board there which just fits there nicely. We've had this for about three or oh, three and a bit years I reckon it's done the job for us. Uh, 75 litre for us was a nice size. Now we have taken out the, um, uh, there is another, I'll probably add a picture up here that best explains it. There is another bit there that sort of fits that you can actually clamp it on there. But we don't do that. Um, I don't, bo I don't bother about strapping it down and those types of things. I've never done it and I've never really had any problems um, at all. So, but that's just me, everyone's different. And that's corrugations and all sorts of crazy um, rough roads. The freezer in this side, fridge in this side, this fridge is interchangeable. So depending on where we're going or what we need, we can actually make this a freezer in this side of fridge. But for weekenders, you know, that sort of suits us. So down here, this is basically the pantry. See all the chips, food, hand towels, um, salt, pepper, and those types of things. All right, and this bit here, the top bit, just on here, Zach. Uh, so this is officially known as my stuff spot. All the stuff I have in here is just all the tools and bits and pieces I need. Mozzie repellent, dunny paper, hand towel, um, tape, just any sort of bits and pieces I need to get to quick without too much stuffing around. Just up here. Sack. So this one here is uh, the tube I put on here, um, which is basically a rod holder. All you do is unscrew this, I put the rod straight through there, just wrap the rods up in bubble wrap. I take the reels off, of course, and uh, they'll go in there. It's on the back here, Zach. Uh, I've got the two spare wheels in the back here. Personally, I think one's enough. 
I have seen lots of modifications in regards to people putting outboards, putting bike racks and those types of things, which isn't a bad idea. Up here, oh sorry, that other tube is a 90 mil tube and I've actually just put some caps on the end of it in case anyone wants to know. This tube here is a, was a 150 mil, three meter, but I actually cut it back. I'm not sure what the exact length was. I'll chuck on the screen once I uh, measure it and work it out. Every single pole I need is all in there. And I'll explain that to you in a sec. And, and up here. And uh, I put the bikes up on the roof there along with the ladder. It's probably not the best way to do it. I basically just use a strap and uh, ratchet, strap and strap them down. Does a trick. Hey, we're taking it around Australia like that and the bikes have been fine. The handles are a little bit worn, but that's just how we do it. On this side here, this is where the, the hot water system vent is. Yeah, perfect. So the hot water vent is just there. And that's all I do, sort of have it set up there. I actually have a tin foil tray I'll set up to, to give it some air. Now this side here is where the shower goes. And on uh, this side here, it's literally the exact same as the other side, but in the bottom here, exact. So this is where I have all my gear, maybe just go back a little bit. So, 10 screws. This one here is just a little tool kit. Again, for weekenders, you don't need them, it's just in case something happens. Um, that's just the rechargeable drill in there. Uh, of course, sand pegs in case I need them. This one here is just the king's table, but I'll show you once I've got that set up. And in here, Zach. This bag here has got all the ropes, the guy ropes and the tent pegs for the awning and everything, but of course I use my own. Backup tire tube, and again, just more ratchet straps in case I need them. Top here, just another table. So two little tables we have, and in here is literally all the all the hoses, the water holes. It's an hockey strap in case I need it. But I have uh, two hoses. Actually, got a, just a hose I use um, if I don't care about the water quality. When, if we're not going to drink it, but I've actually got another hose here that's actually nice and clean. And uh, a hot tip for you is. Make sure you have a few different hose fittings because guaranteed from park to park or wherever you go, everywhere you use a different bloody fitting. And this side here, again for longer trips, we use a second fridge. But for this one here, as you can see, basically got the floor mat. Um, the shower mat stays in there. That one there is the actual shower tent. And uh, all the, the annex um, awning, sorry, and all the annex fittings. And uh, okay, so that's all outside stuff here now. So we'll get him set up here now and I'll show you what, a, what we use for storage uh, inside as well. So we've actually had quite a few questions about that one. Just coming back to another spot here I didn't show you. Now, in this spot here, again, so I got here is just this one saucepan, that's all we use. Also got those ones there for steaming veggies or whatever, boiling water. Uh, they're just there as backup here again. Hoses. Um, I'll see that one there. I think is a 20 meter extension lead got from Bunnings. And one we carry here is a uh, 15 amp cable. Most caravan parks are 15 amp. In regards to pots and pans, that's all we use to go around Australia. Okay, so you can have more if you like, but that's all you bloody need. And that, well, that's all we need anyway. And uh, of course here, I've got the fuse, the RCD, trip switch there as well. Okay, so now for the inside here. But get take a step a step back there, Zach. I'll just show you. Just go down a step. Watch, you can watch where you're going if you like. So in this little cupboard here, all the cups, all the cups and plates. Yep, yeah, lunch boxes. Most of our bowls, things. all these types of things. It's all, plastic. it's all plastic, there's no glass in there at all. 
So this side here we've got the stereo. Now we have floor lights, which are just here in the camp and I'll show you a second. We actually have a step light. So whenever you step out in the steps, you can actually see where you're going at night. That step light, Zach, if you just want to show them. Is that one there? Uh, now that one there doesn't look like much at the moment, but at night, and it helps you see where you're going, doesn't it? Helps you see where you need to go to the toilet. Mm. All right, so we've got two drawers in here. Top drawer, again, just a sort of bits and pieces, bag of pegs. Obviously you need that one here to sweep it out. Back up uh, our foil, cling wrap there, washing powder. Um, quick dry towels in there as well. And uh, that's obviously just toilet detergent for when we take the portable toilet. Another drawer there, just to sort of bits and pieces, but it's normally just kids and kids toys or my bottles of booze. So just here we've got the hot water system. Nice and easy. I just turn that on, flick the button there, turn it on, turn it off. Nice and easy. It is uh, a 14 litre tank as well. Um, one thing about this camper is it's got USBs. There's two here, there's a couple there, there's a couple here, and there's two down the back there. So there's USBs everywhere in this thing. Now in here, so right now the table's up. Now these actually stay in your permanently. So the table actually comes down and sits flat there. So they stay on there. Just down, just down here, Zach. Got these uh, Azito fans here. They are 12 volt. I'll just sort of. I'll chuck in a picture now what they look like. Again, they stay in there, they live in there. And, uh, under this chair here is more storage. And what do we got in here? So, camping lights. That box there is uh, a clothesline in there. Those ones there are just King's ones. So I have white ones and I have orange ones. But of course, in this trip here, I'm actually, uh, I've got some different sort of recharger ones now. Um, obviously in here, you got all the inverter and the the charge and those types of things so another storage spot there and under the under the other seat there there is storage as well but we don't use it don't need to that's where the battery's in there so there's 220 amp hour uh, agms in there but we don't use those okay so this is the base of the last bit of out here so in the kitchen here again um this is all permanent we've actually just leave all this stuff in here under here just band spare hand out hand towel surface cleanup all the hoses go under there, dishwashing detergent. And that one there, they actually just stay in there as well. This side here, Zach, you just want to show that bit. All the condiments, all the bits and pieces we need. Our foil, of course. Yep, we've got your favourite chicken salt there. Sandwich bags. Again, tongs. All this stuff. This actually stays in here permanently. And I've got to say, back on me. And I gotta say, I actually forgot they were there. I've actually packed them when I didn't need to. And Come unfortunately, on, uh, unfortunately, Anita's at home and she's not got the not got them uh, when I packed them. And it turns out I didn't need them. And this bit here, again, yeah. Uh, all, all the knives, forks, spoons. Yeah, all the knives and forks and spoons. Um, now we do keep this here just in case the uh, now the stove the does. Work, yeah, the stove does have a does have an automatic um, igniter, but just in case we're having problems with wind or whatever, we do that. And also, we've got the three burner stove there. Uh, it's not so much storage; it's just in case you're wondering. So this is the electrical board here. Um, that's how much I got in the batch at the moment. I've got two water tanks. I've got a hundred liter water tank in the rear, eighty liters in the front. Also, got the water pump there, the fridge. And obviously got the hot water there, which I'll turn on in a sec. But hope you found you found that helpful. Yeah, so that was our uh, off-road camper trailer, the mods we've got, how we store things, and all the storage we have for a weekender. Um, I've got to say, it is nice to be in a camper trailer as opposed to camping out the back of the Pajero. We've got everything we need here, um, which is fantastic. Uh, only thing I probably didn't mention was the suitcases go on the floor there, all that clothes go on there, and I only put the chairs uh, in the back of the the car there. And, and that's about it. If, if for any reason I forgot to cover something off that you've asked me or something you've seen and want to ask a bit more about, chuck them in the comments. Um, or if not, you want to do it personally, just uh, just uh, find us on Messenger there, either Instagram or Facebook, and I'll, uh, I'll get those ones answered for you. 
and again uh, for those of you um, who've been supporting us and watching watching our videos and liking our videos and comments those types of things really appreciate it appreciate it but if you haven't hit the button and apologies uh, we haven't been camper trailer camping much in a little while as you can see we're back out in the market now a lot of things going on in our personal life and we just haven't been able to get in a marks get in get all set up here and we're gonna start enjoying some camping and that's about it from me so I'm diesel for getting around I was camper trailer traveling thanks for watching <music>